Hello tacticians, it's Nox here and today we're going to look to see how good Khan is in the Taunt Arena. But before we go into the games, just want to say my usual thank yous and today they go to Shek Goan, Bringa, Lupus, Jackal33 and Iron Giant 224 All of you have used my friend code and it is very much appreciated as it really does help me out. So thank you once again. And now let's have a look at Khan in action. My first highlight is the team versus Ouroboros. Now, I'm not using anything too special, but I am a massive fan of the fact that they've gone all in on the Admech and Necrons. But we're going to fast forward through this to, well, have a look, see what Khan actually does. I've fast forwarded a couple of turns and you can see I've moved into the centre of the battlefield. Khan is there on the right hand side with a health power up and they're starting to move their troops forward. Aleph Null activates their Scarabs and they move in with Actus to shoot as well and Ray Vass, well he's taken it on the chin and carrying on. They also go in with Vitruvius for an extra hit. So first of all I clear the way with Ray Vass I get rid of one Scarab Swarm which means Khan can now come in and do his thing. So this is without the War Howl from Ragnar. He moves in, targets Vitruvius, kills Vitruvius and kills Aleph Null. Khan truly is the master of slaughter. And this is another one, just to highlight how powerful Khan can be. Now, Aleph Null has just picked up a shield, and it's about to flick back to my go. And I thought, well, how good is Khan versus a shielded Aleph Null? So there's the War Howl, so I can move in. And Khan goes in with his active and destroys Aleph Null. So if you actually want someone who can deal a lot of damage, then Khan is certainly your boy. However, as much as he can put out a punch, let's see what happens in the opponent's turn to Khan. So the opponents go and Thaddeus drops a bomb on Khan, nearly killing him off, and then finishes the job with Shosil. So whilst Khan can throw a punch, it certainly seems like he can't take one. So here we are with another highlight from another game and Khan's in the middle and just picked up the power up so he's got a shield which absorbs one shot from Sarquel and another shot from Calendus with possibly Thaddeus about to kill him off but he does manage to survive. So with a shield he does become a little bit more survivable. And it's my go. I activate the War Howl, I go in and activate his ability and say goodbye to Sarquel. Although, let's be honest, the next turn, Khan was then going to die. And this one is one I'm going to call Maximum Carnage, because Khan's got the melee power-up, I've just howled with Ragnar there, and I'm going to dive in with Celestine to get rid of Ray Vass's Overwatch. I first move in with Marnius Kalgar as well. Khan moves in and uses active ability... We not only kill Ray Vass, but Tangida as well. So those are a few of my favourite highlights from the matches that I've played so far. And if you're on the fence about using Khan or not, I would say level him up and use him. He is fun to use. Just be careful of those counter punches from the opponent. So what about the Machines of War? Well, it was pretty much how I expected. Most matches are over a bit too quick for the battery to have any real impact. The Biovore, well, I'd love to hear from you about the Biovore. Has it stopped that melee team? Because I'm, I can see how that uh, spore mine being in the middle would disrupt them charging forward. But in my games, it's never been much of an issue. But then again, I don't use that tactic. And the Forge Fiend, I must say, I'm quite impressed with. Doesn't do much damage, but what it does do is allow you to control the battlefield by putting down those fiery areas. And that has won me one or two games throughout the tournament so far. I also don't think it's a case of paying to win. 
because the active ability on any of these doesn't really do much. So I personally welcome this new game mode, and I hope we see more Machines of War in the near future. If you like these videos, then it would be much appreciated if you at least think about using my friend code, as it really does help me out. Or if you or your guilds are looking for a new home, please reach out to any of the guilds shown, as we'll always welcome new people into our midst. As always, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, and I'll be seeing you on the battlefield.